The Paxton 10 system generates events as people move around a building using access points. Events are also generated in other instances, like a door being forced or left open. These events can be reviewed, filtered and searched using reports. Paxton 10 comes with some default reports that are set up for your convenience. In addition, you can create your own custom reports using the Add an Event Report control in the ribbon bar. Events are sorted chronologically as default, with the most recent appearing at the top. You can change the sorting order by clicking on the column headers. You change the order of the columns by dragging them. You can also configure what information is shown using the Field Chooser control. For example, people's images can be shown if required. Filters can be added to your custom report to allow you to view only the type of information you're interested in. Alarm events can be acknowledged. This gives a useful audit trail showing who responded to what and when. Event reports can be exported in a variety of formats using the Export Report control. If you have cameras on your Paxton 10 system, then you are able to instantly view any footage associated with events. Events appear in different parts of the software too. Using a site plan, we can see the latest events for any device. We can also choose to show an events window. Using dashboards, we can add an events widget, applying filters and resizing as required. Dynamic event reports can be created for people, groups, and devices. For example, by using the View Events control in the ribbon bar, I can easily create a report for this group of people. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, have a look at some of our other videos.